Hi there and welcome to our week ending episode of Fuha Sports Today. As the Wimbledon semi finals is in focus with results from the women's draw and matchups for today's men's semi final. Plus, we will also bring you some updates from the Premier League transfer news. So, let's start with the women's semi final results. Good news and bad news. The bad news is that Sabini Lisicki's fairy tale run has come to an end. But the good news is that for some tennis fans at least, is that there will be no Sharapova Azarenka grand finale. Sharapova started off badly as she went down love three in the first set but managed to pull herself together and went on to claim a 6-4 and 6-3 win in little under an hour and a half and she will meet AC Petra Kvitova in Saturday's final when she powered her way to a 6-1, 3-6 and 6-2 victory over Victoria Azarenka and here's Sharapova's take on her opponent in the finale um, I expect her to be a really tough opponent because um, number one she's a uh, She's a really good basketball player. She's proven that last year going to the semifinals. She's also a lefty, which you know, I said before, and grass is very tricky. Um, you know, she's using her serve really well, and, um, and yeah, it, it'll be tough. And she's been playing really good tennis. And, you know. But it's the men who will take to centre court today for their semi-finals. Rafael Nadal will meet home favourite Andy Murray, while world number two Novak Djokovic goes up against Joe Wilbert Songa, who is in his first ever Wimbledon Grand Slam semi-final rather than his first Grand Slam semi-final, as mentioned yesterday. Apologies on that error. But no mistake here, as Andy Murray is hoping to make it to his first ever Wimbledon finals. He is no stranger to the semi-final arena, but there have been a couple of times where he's been there, even losing to Nadal in last year's Final Four. But at the rate he's playing, Murray hopes to do one better. Pretty much um, each year I've, I've played a little bit better. Every, every year I've, I've come here and, you know, lost in the semis the last two years and I want to go further. So I'm really looking forward to next match. Well, it's been a long road for British tennis fans and it's been almost 73 years since they featured in the men's finals, last being Bunny Austin, while a Wimbledon gentleman's title was last claimed by Fred Perry back in 1936. If he makes it past Nadal, what an achievement it will be for them. But seriously, it's looking to be a Djokovic-Nadal final, isn't it? But hey, anything can happen. The men's final will be on Sunday. Briefly now to some Premier League transfer news. Yesterday, I mentioned news of Valencia going after D Dimitra Berber off. Marseille wants Didier Drogba and Barcelona is gunning for Cesc Fabregas and Samir Nasri. Let's start with Berbatov. It's not just Valencia who are after the Bulgarian. French side Paris Saint-Germain is also after United's top scorer last season. However, according to his agent, first on the agenda is to have talks with United on his client's future at Old Trafford. Berbatov wants to say, but at what capacity does Ferguson want him for may be the deal cruncher. Now, for Didier Drogba's rumour back to France. Not true because all the Ivorian is hearing is the cash register. Drogba is set for a new deal at Stamford Bridge. He still has one year left on his current contract and the club doesn't intend to see it run its course. All will be clearer when the team reports back for training on Wednesday. While news from Arsenal reveals that Barcelona have been in contact with them again after the initial offer of £27 million for Fabregas was rejected and it is rumoured that with a revised bid of £35 million, the European champions will bring him back to Catalonia. But not for Samir Nasri. He and teammate Gil Clichy are being hunted by Manchester City. Nasri is set to go if they can put together a bid for about £20 million, while Clichy is worth probably around £7 million. Arsene Wenger is going to have a tough couple of weeks ahead trying to hold on to his prized possessions. And he seems to be in the same position as Tottenham's Harry Redknapp. They need to offload in order to raise capital to bring in players. And that will be it for this week. You have some great tennis viewing for the weekend and also the MotoGP at Mugello. And we will return on Monday as we review the Wimbledon winners and also follow up on this story that Manchester City are proposing a revolutionary way of getting rid of their unwanted players by displaying them in their souvenir shop. True or untrue, we will look into that on Monday. Till then, you have a great sporting weekend. I'm Patrick for the team at Hoo Ha Sports saying it's bye for now.